It is Friday. Wah! How are we, friends? I know I asked this yesterday. I'm going to ask it again. Anyone have, anyone have any fun plans? And again, I'm waiting for someone to reply. <laughs> Alrighty. Caffeine's definitely rocking right now. What do we have going on? Uh, core temp warm up. We're going to fish game it up. Fish game it up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anyone going to. Has anyone ever gotten 3,000 points on the fish game? I don't know. I really don't. I bet if someone was to, it'd be one of the 5.30 AMers. Just saying. Challenge accepted, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what do we got going on here? We're gonna go right into our PT specific warm up. two rounds. Five PVC front rack SATS presses. So remember, when we're snatching, that SATS press is when we're in the bottom of our squat. That bar is on our back, I mean that PVC pipe's on our back, and we're in that snatch grip, pressing up and over. This time what we got going on is I want you in that front rack position. If that just isn't happening with that PVC pipe, let's put it on our back. It might be, we might be about 50-50 if people are or aren't able, are not able to do that, all right? But we're in the bottom of our squat, trying to press up and through, wall down there five times. You're gonna put it then back to your front rack, trying try to keep a good front rack or put it on your back, either or. And uh, you're gonna give me uh, six steps duck walking. All right, so remember that duck walk from the bottom of the squat, it's kind of waddling for six total steps. Then give me five more PVC front rack sats presses. And then you're gonna put that down and with an empty barbell, you're gonna do five front squats, uh, five uh, push presses. Uh, with this here, I would like that push press, uh, usually, not usually a points performance for that push press um, is usually feet are hip width, all right? Now, because this is getting us ready for a thruster, you're doing those five front squats. Keep that same shoulder width, width stance, and give me those five um, push presses there. All right. And then you're gonna put in the front rack and give me ten total empty bar front rack reverse lunges. And then after that, we're gonna do a twenty second hanging knee tuck hold. So with this knee tuck. For you to really feel that in your midline, we're not only having those active shoulders, but you're not just tucking, but when you're tucking, you're thinking about crunching those abs also at the same time. You should feel this in your lower abdominals. That should feel great. Holding that for 20 seconds. Then I'll do it all over again. And then remainder of time, coaches led a barbell warm up. Coaches, when you do this, uh, there's going to be time we want to allow people to build to a moderate to heavy, so sorry, actually not heavy, moderate clean and jerk weight, preferably the one they want to start off with for the workout. And that gets me to that next part, which the workout is Jackie cleans the house. All right. So how this works is there is a 20 minute clock. Today is for two scores. One is for time. One is for load. From zero to 12. Whoa, whoa, what's going on there? Jeez, dang. All right, from zero to 12, you have 12 minutes to complete Jackie, which is a benchmark girl workout, which is four time, a nice little um, task triplet of a thousand meter row, that is for men and women, both thousand meters, 50 empty bar thrusters, and 30 pull-ups, okay? So with this, the low, I mean, the volume is moderate here, all right? It's not light at all, my, um, load, I mean, uh, sorry, volume-wise, volume but it is moderate. We are looking at times around that, the average is probably be around 8 to 10 minutes here, okay? So if you're someone and you get done in 6 minutes, one really good job, if you get done in six minutes, you have six minutes to rest before you're allowed to do your first clean and jerk, okay? Cool. So, 1,000 meter row, 50 empty bar thrusters, 45, 35 pounds. With that being said, that it's an empty bar thruster, your efficiency of that movement, which comes from your technique, is still so vital for you not to be pooped out for that clean and jerk. So points of performance, execution of that thruster. It is a combination of a push press, 
sorry, a front squat and a push press. Making sure that everyone extends their knees, legs, and hips before you press up um, with your shoulders. With that being said, you're kind of going to see if it's truly, truly a hip, then arm extend um, pressing. You're going to see almost a little bit of a pause, a slight pause after the hip pop. It's pop, oh, then press, pop, oh, then press. If we're truly utilizing those hips. Okay. Another thing with this is efficiency wise, people are going to try to go so fast that when they're bringing that bar down, they're gonna start descending before it hits their shoulders. Hit the shoulders, then descend down, my friends. Okay? So, all the points performance for a front squat is also all the points perform performance, sorry, air squat, so air squat points performance, overlap into that front squat, all right? Then, push press points performance, the strict press overlaps into that, so making sure, what I'm trying to say here is move efficiently even though it is a light barbell. Light meaning that you can do 20 plus reps easy, okay? To be honest, my best Jackie time is 6.02 back in 2016. All right, I haven't done it since then. Wasn't a huge fan of how it felt, but that's okay. All right, so can anyone get under six minutes for their Jackie? Let's see how it goes. Um, then we have those 30 pull-ups. We're thinking um, with those pull-ups, since this is, we don't want this to take more than, I don't want this taking more than 10 minutes, to be completely honest here. Um, sets of, I don't know, seven or more, preferably, would be nice. So that's our Jackie. Then, if that takes you seven minutes, you have five minutes until a 12 minute mark. Two, find your heaviest clean and jerk. With this clean and jerk, all right, that's giving us eight minutes to clean and jerk. We could go every two minutes and that's four lifts right there. Because of the fact that you have warmed up already to um, before we started the workout to that moderate load, your starting load, you should be able to hit that first weight. Now that comes down to, and I'm speaking mostly to our competitors here or people that um, are competitive in general, we all are, but competitive in CrossFit and wanting to compete, be realistic about what your starting weight is going to be, all right? For me personally, I have like a 280 clean and jerk, all right? I'm going to start at about 205, all right? Cool, it'd be cool to start at 225, but I'm going to be pretty darn pooped out from Jackie, even though I'm probably going to get about six minutes of rest, I, the first about four minutes of that is me on the ground trying to figure out what the heck just happened. And that next two is me finally getting back up, All right? So be realistic about what your starting weight should be. Um, so there's an every two minute option you do a lift. I prefer about every 90 seconds, All right? That's gonna give me about six lifts there, which is perfect, That's all you really need. Um, percentage wise, people ask me, where should we start? What our starting weight should be what percentage? We're thinking about like 60%, something like that. Okay, something that you know you can hit even when under that type of fatigue. Okay, friends? It's a fun one. Love you. Bye.